Hello and welcome to Today in History for the 15th of October. My name is Sotonye Afiasimama. Let's get cracking. I roll on the blinds to the year 70 BCE. So, essentially, BCE stands for 70 years before the Christian era, so essentially 70 years before the year zero, if that makes sense. So if you're listening um, for the first time, welcome. And if you're a returning visitor, you're welcome as well. So Virgil, that's the guy I pictured here. He was a Roman poet, best known for his national epic, the Aeneid. He was born on the stay near Mantua. So that's Virgil who was born on the stay. Next we move on to the year 1542. This man is called Akbar as you can see here, Akbar the Great. He was a Mughal emperor and born on this day in 1542. He's he was the third Mughal emperor who reigned from 1556 to 1605. Akbar succeeded his father, Humayun, under the regent, Bayram Khan, who helped the young emperor expand and consolidate Mughal dom domains in India. A strong personality and a successful general, Akbar gradually enlarged the Mughal empire to include much of the Indian subcontinent. 1839, this was the day that future Queen Victoria proposed to her cousin, encouraged by her uncle Leopold, she proposed to Prince Albert. So this is a picture on the wedding day in 1840. Let's move on to the year 1844. So five years later, Friedrich Wilhelm Nietzsche, German composer, cultural critic, poet and philosopher, also a philologist whose work was exerted, has exerted a profound influence on modern intellectual history. He was born on this day, began his career as a classical philologist before turning to philosophy. He became the youngest person ever to hold the chair of classical philology at the University of Basel in 1869 at the age of 24. He was born on this day in Prussia. 1928. On this day, this called the Graf Zeppelin. Some four days after leaving Germany, on this day in 1928, the Graf Zeppelin landed in Lakehurst, New Jersey, in the United States, completing its first transatlantic trip. Now, this, um, what looks like a, a hot air balloon, helium um, hydrogen field, um, it gets its name from, or got its name, from the German pioneer of airships, Ferdinand von Zeppelin, who was also a count, which is a graph in German, in the German mobility. So it was German built and operated to the passenger carrying hydrogen filled rigid airship, which operated commercially from 1928 to 1937. So that's the graph. Zeppelin, which arrived in New Jersey from Germany on this day in 1928. Let's move on to the year 1931. On this day, we're back in India. APJ Abdul Kalam, President of India. He, his full name is Avu Pakir Jainulabdin Abdul Kalam. He was an Indian aerospace scientist also, 
and obviously a politician who served as the 11th president of India from 2002 to 2007. He was born and raised in Rameswaram, Tamil Nadu, and studied physics and aerospace engineering. So this clever dude here um, was 11th president of India from 2002 to 2007. So APJ Abdul Kalam of India, who was born on this day in 1931. That's a, an amazing portrait of uh, former president of India. We move on to the year 1959. And we're in Antarctica. So this was the day that the final conference on the Antarctic Treaty convened in Washington, D.C. And after six weeks of negotiations, the treaty was signed by 12 countries, preserving the continent for free scientific study. So this is a picture of Antarctica with the major countries that um, have held stake to the territories of Antarctica. Obviously, it's one of the territories that still remains unclaimed. So yeah, history was made on this day. Um, Antarctica is not inhabited by, not, I mean, it, uh, there are no indigenous um, human beings who, who live there. But obviously, you have a lot of scientists, people from the scientific community mostly, um, go there from time to time to conduct research. So, yeah, history made on this day, 1959, the Antarctic Treaty, convened in Washington, D.C. on this day. Signed by 12 countries to preserve the continent for free scientific study. We move on to the year 1993. This was the day. These men pictured here, former president of South Africa, former president, actually, F.W. de Klerk and Nelson Mandela were named the recipients of the Nobel Peace Prize for their work for the peaceful termination of the apartheid regime and for laying the foundations for a new democratic South Africa. So that is, uh, these are former presidents of South Africa, Nelson Mandela and F.W. de Klerk. 2003, so 10 years later, China was in the news. The year was 2003, if you guess correctly. And his name, this astronaut, his name is Yang Li Wei. He became, China became the third country to launch a crewed space flight, the Shenzhou 5, which was piloted by Yang Li Wei. It orbited Earth 14 times during the 21-hour flight. So basically, um, yeah, the aircraft he flew in went around the Earth 14 times over a period of 21 hours. That was really, really fast, really fast indeed. Okay, last but not least, sadly, on this day, we lost... Paul Allen. Paul Allen, obviously, um, he was an American investor and philanthropist. He co-founded Microsoft. He died on this day at the age of 65. He was worth, at the time of his death, about $20 billion. He also gave to charity as well. Um, yeah, co-founder, obviously, with Bill Gates of the Microsoft Corporation. So, guys, that's all I have for you today, the 15th of October. I shall see you tomorrow for another edition of Today in History. My name is Tony Afiasimara. See you tomorrow. Stay safe. 
do not forget to like this video if you like it and also share this with your family and friends who might be interested in historical events that happened on this day especially if you have um, family who are celebrating their birthday today or any of the days to come in future or in the past you can refer to videos that you know um, hopefully would make their day extra special all right guys thanks for dropping by i shall see you tomorrow for another edition of today in history do not forget to subscribe as well click the notification bell so that you receive updates of my video uploads thank you take care bye bye